One of the best ways to score an A in your speaking test is to speak what you know. Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Welcome back to English Made Possible with me, Teacher M. Today, I'm going to share with you some simple and easy tips for your speaking exam, English SPM 1019, Paper 3. The test consists of three parts. Part 1, the interview session. Part 2, individual long term. And Part 3, discussion. In this video, I will share with you on how to deal with questions in part 1. There will be two examiners. The first one is your assessor. The assessor will just keep quiet, listen to your answers, and award marks based on your performance. The second one is your interlocutor. The interlocutor will interview you by asking short questions and at the same time award marks. How should you react before entering the examination hall? Recite your prayer, take a deep breath, clear your mind, relax and enjoy the session. Bear in mind you're going to have friendly and lovely examiners. As you walk into the exam hall, smile and greet the examiners. Good morning, teachers. May I have a seat, please? Remember, keeping the examiner's attention is very important. Try to project your voice, speak clearly, and speak what you know. The time allocated for you in this part is only 2 to 3 minutes. The questions for part 1 are very simple. You'll be asked questions mainly about yourself. Next, the examiners may ask you questions about your school life, your daily routines, or about your families and friends. Those are all? Yes! The idea here is that you want to stand out in front of the examiners. Show off your capabilities during the part one of your test as making first great impression will open your door towards achieving good grades. There will never be a second chance to make a first impression. These are some examples of the questions. First, the interlocutor will be asking for your name. My name is Borhan Ben Basir. You can call me Bob. My name is Melissa Lo Eilie. My friends call me Mello. Where do you live? I live in Kampong Pinang, Alor Star, Kedah. I live at number 25 Taman Melor, Ipoh, Pera. How do you come to school? I walk to school every morning. I cycle to school every day. Sometimes, my father drives me to school. What's your favourite subject? My favourite subject is science because I enjoy doing lots of experiments. I like mathematics because I want to be an accountant. What do you normally do after you wake up? I would brush my teeth and then take a shower. I would tidy up my bed and do some scratching. What do you do after coming back from school? I usually take a nap and then play online games with my friends. I take my lunch and straight away do my homework. What do you usually do on weekends? I enjoy watching movies with my friends at the cinema. I love to try out new recipes for baking. What do you normally do in the evening? 
I love to go cycling at the park nearby my house. Sometimes I play football. I enjoy gardening with my mother every evening. Do you like reading books? And why? Yes, I like reading because it helps me to improve my vocabulary. No, I don't like reading books. I prefer to browse for information via internet. Do you enjoy using social media? And why? Yes, because I can have fun playing online games with friends all over the world. Yes, because I can connect with my friends through social medias such as Instagram. Do you love traveling? Yes, I love to travel because I can learn about different parts of the world. Yes, traveling is fun because I can explore a variety of cultures and lifestyles. Do you use internet to learn? And why? Yes, I had online classes when schools were closed due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Yes, internet provides me with lots of information for my exams. Those are some questions for part one of your speaking test. Do watch my next video to get some excellent sample answers for your part two. Stay tuned in English Made Possible with me, Teacher M. Thanks for watching!